West Coast by Imagine Dragons. Introduction sounds like this. Now you'll notice my fingers are numbered. Pay attention to that to help guide you through which fingers to use. And I'm assuming you've got the PDF that I sent along with either printed out or it's on a screen in front of you while you're watching the video. And we're going to start with the first bar, number 12, which is where the double dot is in my ukulele. Some ukuleles, the 12th fret is the very last one. So depending what ukulele you have, number 12 is the important number. And there should be a double dot there. And it should sound like this. Now, after you've played that 12 on the first string, you let it ring and you go to 12 on the second string and you come back to the 12 and a 10 like that. So there's a 12, 10. You'll see they're closer together. So you can actually re rely on your, on your gaps on the PDF file that I sent along for you as well to sort of give you an indication as to when to play and obviously you need to know the song. We're leaving at the, the normal music school because we're working by ear and having fun here. And the important part coming up next is a very quick slide from 10 to 12. And you'll notice just before the end of the first bar, that 10, which has got the little forward slash to the 12, the 10 font size is tiny. And the 12 is the same font, as, font size as the rest. That indicates two notes, but they're played so quick that it feels like one beat. So if you're going to play through with me now, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three. That's your first bar. Now the next bar is going to have a reverse slide. And it's also a quickish slide from the 12 down to the 10. And you'll notice I'm using my first finger for that the whole way through. I wouldn't have an issue if you went with your third finger, so I'm not too fussy there. And then after that you have 10, 8, and a slower slider from the 10 to the 12. So your first top line should be like this if you want to play through with me. One, two, three, four, and two, three. That's the first bar. Now the second bar starts off exactly the same. So your second bar's got the same. Two, three. Exactly the same. But then it finishes with the nine, seven, eight. So simply follow the numbers, pay attention to my finger numbers I'm using here, and you should have the introduction working really well. Now we're going to look at the rhythm and the chords. It's got a nice rhythm section to it. But let's take you through the chords first. You're looking at some very basic chords. A minor, I'm sure you're familiar with that. Second finger, top string, second fret. When we go to F, we keep the A minor as it is and simply add the first finger onto the second string. So the transition from your A minor to your F is a really nice, easy one. C on the ukulele, ring finger number three, as you can see it's numbered, to the bottom string third fret. And then later on in the second line, you're finally going to have a G chord, which is finger one and two on strings three and one in the second fret and ring finger comes to the third fret of the second string there's my g chord now we're going to focus onto the strumming pattern and we're going to put everything together you're going to try and keep both left and right hand in view now and your opening line a minor f and c pay attention to how brief and quick the f transition is from the a minor to the c watch this You can see my first finger come down from the F there, get a bit different view. So slow motion, down, down, up, down, followed by another up, then you bring the first finger in, there's my F, and from there immediately onto the C. And the C is simply going to go down, down, up, down, up, down, down. We said slowly down down up down up down down now on the strumming i notice that some of us when we start we have our hand really far back in the ukulele bad technique don't have your wrist 
where mine is. Please don't do that. You're going to hurt the side of your finger here. Because my side of my finger is striking onto that string. You can see the string's actually pushing onto the side of the finger there. Very bad technique. You want to strum more from the top. And you can see over here, if I put my hand or my wrist rather, or my arm onto the ukulele, I can actually have my ukulele sort of floating. So I'm actually supporting my ukulele between my inside of my arm and my leg that is resting up. And then I'm strumming maybe a bit more over the neck itself, past the guitar, or past the ukulele, sorry. And your rhythm pattern's going to strum down from the side like that. So you can see my hand is doing this movement. There's a movement on my finger. I'm not using a pick because the pick is simply too bright for a ukulele. It's, it's a very harsh, brash sound. So we're going to rather use the fingers, strumming this way, not that way. Bad. Good. And you can hear the rhythm now. F is a very quick passing chord and we do that three times in a row and then we go to A minor normal G and onto the C so if I put three A minor F C's in a row followed by A minor G C it should sound something like this and here we go three times A minor F C and then one A minor Let's go one, two, three, four, and here we go. It's as simple and basic as that. On the second time round, when he goes, but my love, I won't give up. The end of the line of the end of the verse one he holds it here but longer before he goes into i ain't no superman which is now going to start with the f chord your rhythm picks up a little bit there and it should sound something like this now a new rhythm pattern going to sound something like this for the chorus well i accidentally started with the a minor there with the f but the rhythm was correct okay so let's get the f going there slow motion on the rhythm pattern speed twice through on that F chord one more time one two three four and then you change to the C now at the end of the chorus watch for that A minor when he says I'll be the one you love the most he stops on the A minor so I'm going to play through the whole way through the chorus if you want to play through with me that'd be pretty cool watch out for the stops and the starts that's the important part of the song and here we go one two three four and the stops for the song that's what makes it work really really well next if you're looking at the bridge going to change the angle again just to get a different view the room for the bridge pretty much the same it's a really nice up tempo easy song so what we're learning from this over here is a nice little rhythm change from the the slower introduction on the verse we're learning that quick change from the a minor to the f to the c and then of course we've got that really cool intro introduction we learned at the beginning of the song as well you should have all the tools you need now for west coast you have got my contact details if there are any questions with the song please don't hesitate to drop me a whatsapp happy to help and otherwise have a cool day enjoy